just like big ass fucking my my big ass drink. I'm gonna have some crab legs. Okay, hold on, wait. Here's my thing. You know, I actually may go treat myself Wednesday because I was told about one of the casinos. That's fifty dollars all you can eat seafood. Lobster, crab legs, and the whole nine yards. Oh god, that's the blanket. I know, right? So I think I'm gonna go splurge. Fanboy supremacy. Mm -hmm. Look at my face. Where's your mic pointing? We don't have any mics. Oh, look at my bike. I need to add a bunch of shit. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's still. Break. Here, I'll send a couple images your way. Can I still rattle it off? Oh, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Like basic private train. Corporal Master Corporal. Sergeant Warrant of the Master Warrant of the Chief Warrant of the. Um. Let me think. Let me think. This is the best I can do to make it. Why would you trust the four dimensional cube? Wait, what's the one I trust the four dimensional cube? It was talking about wanting to make friends, okay? And, I, and saying that it was jealous yeah. about us mortals because it doesn't have mortality. And it wants to make friends. And it needs companionship. And then it was brought us here and we came here and this is where I am now. I feel yeah. like he's probably yeah, second left hand left hand. He also wants more little bit. I don't know, we're gonna find out. Just something appears in the middle. Fail. Tonight's event is about to begin. At this time, make your way to the prep room. I repeat, at this time, make your way to the prep room. Okay. Traveler, attention please. At this time, make your way to the prep room. I repeat, at this time, your way to the prep room. Whoa, like, my back was Honestly, I knew him as someone who could speak before I knew him as a new so yes, I heard this. You went on the show? I think so, I don't want to block anyone. Oh, move on this side of the room. No. Oh, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, you can't do that. My armor is protecting from all punches. Oh, you can't do that. 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 You can't do that
It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourselves at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers wandering between worlds. We have met before in a different story. But please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic, meme complex originating externally to the real number domain. I project as a tour guide into the global consciousness stream. We tour guides enjoy telling stories to mortals, and thus we created this rendezvous to offer tales of wholesome good times, to offer a path of the observer to the narrative domain. My friends, we are VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. We do this to be a bright spot in the world today. For those of you that are new here, our tours are interactive, F, with multiple endings possible based on the actions of you all as a group. There are many mysteries to find if you are listening carefully, and all of our tours are connected by a central lore. Together, the community works to find the secrets hidden in everything we say and do, even the rendezvous world, the point of contact to the narrative domain. Now tonight, we will travel to the anomalous narrative of the painter, a world fractured in timelines and broken memories, and only held together by a specific chain of thoughts. This was our first tour, and what started VRT. It is unique, as it is almost entirely improvised. But the point, friends, is that the phase phenomena shift will now commence. Travelers, we will now open a portal to the narrative domain. Please do not click anything after you enter the world and remain in the first room. I repeat, after you go through the portal, remain in the first room. The portal will need to stabilize, so wait for our signal to enter. For those of you standing in front of me, kindly step aside. It's so hard to tell you about this, but I'll go over here. Hey, right, you know, so it's real fast here. Avatar is going to come in. Ooh, sounds like a, like a frog or something. It's probably a wasp. My friends, this will be an invite plus portal. Should you need help getting back in, add someone else as a friend here in order to invite you back into the private instance of this world. Wait for it. Not yet. Not yet. There it is. Back to the rendezvous? The portal is stable. You uh, may enter. Send it. Interesting gravity. 
Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I <laughs> 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 chose the wrong yes. portal. I'm back to 30, finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's Wait. what happens when Why you don't you have plans. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, goalish. Go. Yeah, room. return to the prep room. Everything's intentional.
Okay, I think I'm okay. Like two other Are you getting resentment things? or <laughs> nervousness? <laughs> Did you try to slap something <laughs> metal? Oh, <laughs> what? No, I was hitting you. Oh, you're gonna have a, you're gonna okay, have a speech. Here, 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 here. Which thing? I've never been. I've never been in this house. Yeah, I know. If you're talking about the avatar, I'm gonna fall over. I'm just gonna point and laugh at you. Either way, it's just the rat that I use to rat like avatar. You brew me too hard. And that will seem to be. Why are you not using it? It's cool. Elman Avatar. Um, the cat badge could also be just a little bit thicker. Travel. Because I want to use my husk. It's a little bit thicker. I can be shipped. Your attention, please. Attention. Everyone. 10,000 apologies for interrupting your merrymaking. Tonight's event will now begin. Begin. A few notes Ooh. first. <laughs> this is a invite plus instance if for whatever reason you crash and you need to get back into the tour. The only way back in is for someone in the world to send you an invite request. Make sure you're friends with someone else here so that they can accept or they can send you the invite request. You are welcome to add yours truly or my fellow tour guides, Rendizo and Trey Jim. Next, travelers, this is a story-based tour. And as with any tour in the real world, we kindly ask that you remain silent during narration. However, you are highly encouraged to talk while we walk from place to place. And during quests. In fact, it is imperative. Finally, travelers, this world is quite large and it is easy to get lost. Should you wander off from the group you can respawn and reappear in this room but we do ask that you remain with the tour guide at all times if you have been on this tour before please refrain from wandering off as newcomers may follow you in curiosity now then one final note travelers this world is the world of our first tour and it is imperfect there are bugs. There is a button in this room to reset the music. Please, no, Listen right carefully, off. travelers. Every <laughs> time you respawn in this world or you fall out of the world, you must hit the reset music button. If you do not do this, you will have two songs playing at once and it will break your immersion. Everyone, the reset music button is over there. Next to my fellow tour guide, Trey Jim, the button says, if you respawned or fell out of the map, please press this button. Everyone, please go ahead and try pressing this button now. Uh, which button? Oh, the one that says, if you respond. The one that says, uh, if you respond. Wait. Right. You will notice that some doors have appeared on the wall behind you after you press this button. Ooh. These doors are shortcuts to the various places we will go. You are welcome to use these doors should you accidentally crash or fall out of the map. All right. Tra Travelers, enough talk. It is time to save the painter. And the story Please. begins. Um. My friends, please click the large red X behind me. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on the button before you said they clicked on the button. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm, pretty sure I'm still able to oh paint even with this cloth. All is fine. The, the dragon is still here. I went to close out of my special <laughs> menu and I clicked on the thing on accident. Welcome. 
to the room of the Let's painter. The it's fine. Travelers, please take a moment to look around. When you've had your fill, come upstairs and stand near me by the front door. Yeah. This world was not made for Avatars of my size. Bro, this is what like this is what my old PC could handle. Ah, this is like, the Rendizo room. Oh hell! Oh, Voodoo Five. Oh, yes, the Rendizo room. Voodoo Five Nine Thousand. <laughs> Are we? Look at the square ass bed. This painting is pretty. So do you have a spider roommate? Because I see a web right there. Make sure you photographically remember this room, okay? Because then later you're gonna have to tell them what's missing. That one's not mine. That's what's even as cell. I will die. Sounds like no, I will get 93% smarter than me. <laughs> Penguin Man, I give him a 99.8. Yeah, uh, only because he has three. Like only 93%. What about 90 me? 90% smarter than me. This, 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 this guy's got a backpack in his front, so they'll never steal his junk. And fanny pack. he's got peg. He's got peg legs. Not to mention, he has a mechanical keyboard. What Unlike my Dell Dimension keyboard from 1999. You, 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 you got a, uh, you got a, a camera up there. You, you're like a one of them hackers, you know? So, oh my god, <laughs> bro! You, you calling you're me a hacker? Are so cool. Oh wow! You like, me a like hacker. your your tail like wags. waiting for us upstairs. Oh, oh yeah, it's, 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 let's go. In a moment. We will enter the village of Lahan. Once we go outside, feel welcome to turn around and look around. But quickly, oh, there go up we the go. hill and come to the water well, where I will be waiting for you, and the story will begin. I repeat, travelers, take a look around. A lot of hard work and detail has gone into this place. Once you've had your fill, quickly come and stand next to the water well outside. I will be waiting for you. But not in the water well. Imagine quickly being come. told to quickly oh, come. All right. Yeah, this is gonna go well. Yeah. Wow, wow. Sada said that. Pretty nice. Though. Yes, I did. Well, that's cool. Do I? Uh, what the hell? It was no, 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 not enough. Oh, it's the mystical duck. Hail the duck. Toast to toast. Oh, look, the little farmer's so beautiful. The green in them. Five, four, three. Record this man's eyes. So beautiful. I forgot the scope. Travelers. The story begins. Try Jim. Try Jim. Oh. One morning, um, the painter wakes up. He goes outside mm. and is promptly greeted by the village chief. Mm. The chief mm. reminds him that preparations for the wedding tomorrow are underway. The painter thinks of his friends and how excited he is for them to have a new beginning. He remembers he was commissioned to paint a portrait of them at the wedding altar and that today he needs to gather the necessary pigments. Quickly, he lowers his eyes and inhales sharply as a wave of unexpected pain 
pushes to the back of his head. Why did this suddenly come with that thought? Why does this hurt? He shakes it off. My friends, listen carefully. Every door you see can be explored, and this is one of the largest worlds in VR chat. Please don't explore for now. You will have time for that later. For now, kindly follow me. The painter makes his way up to the good doctor's house, where his pigments have been gathered. This way, friends. Oh, no, no. Spoiler alert, there won't be time to explore here. Oh man, man I, I think I'm gonna have to walk Through the painter! Whoops! Activated my own gun there. Hopefully I didn't hit anything. <laughs> yeah, I better not kill the painter. Just a fan. Shoot him. No. That's it. I'm, no. I aimed upwards that way, so nowhere near the painter. Probably either hit the doctor or a, or a bird. Ooh, a doctor. I've always That's liked nice. the, the tail wag on the doctor. Doctor, That means the story. Yeah, it's always been like really neat. Yeah. Hey, it's kind of hard to find those. Hey, if you somehow Listen wait. carefully. These these mountain paths are dangerous. Jump carefully and take care not to fall off the cliffs. Look behind you, wait for your friends, and encourage them. Cheer for them as they jump across the gaps. We'll make this together. But friends, be careful. Don't fall. This way. As yes, you will break your legs. Uh -oh. I don't have to worry about falling. <laughs> oh shoot, I gotta, I'm gonna fall. We got this. <laughs> Time for parkour! <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna fall, I'll catch me. Well, I've got a couple more months until yeah. falling away. Yeah. Yeah. I can usually handle falling from high heights more than organic scans. So, so fast. Parkour, parkour. Yeah. Yeah. Soft core, parkour. Let's call it. No, you're just soapy. The censorship is just soap. Censorship is soap? Yeah, soft core parkour. Censorship is so sussy. <laughs> Hardcore, soft work, hardcore. Hardcore! Hardcore! Well, if the hardcore isn't hardcore, it has to be softcore, hardcore, doesn't it? Definitely shot the doctor now that I think about I mean, he's a doctor, he can just heal it. Mine are just all fat. Hello down there! I can sit back down now that we're not a parkour. Well, I gotta lie, this kind yeah. of reminds me of um, Howl's Moving Castle sort of stuff. Only without the legs. Yeah, that's Howl's Moving Castle, I guess. Ah! Wait, 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 Well done, friends. A few travelers are making their way across the jumps. I beg for your patience. Should I go and help encourage them? I'll go help encourage them. Man. No. Par this happened parkour. Parkour this. I mean, he God, what brings you to a land like this, my guy? And then he never returned. My God, you like traveling. You're the next Jake Meemer. I like that. The painter makes his way up the mountain path to the good doctor's house. 
isolated from Lahan village. The painter lets himself in as he considers the good doctor as good as family. Everyone, please go inside. I love the random people's houses. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Take the seats. Why do I spawn? Take the enemies. Amazing. I'm not either. I'm talking. No, no one gives free food. Uh -huh. No, the good doctor does. You may not have a mouth, but you clearly have a speaker. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. This is this is not the Zard sink. This is the uh, the world sink. This is a lamp. Well, it's in sync right now, isn't it? It's not a world sink. It's in sync. This mustache probably isn't even real. They're trying to eat me. <laughs> I mean, the super glue lasts pretty good. I mean, if you try to rip it again, I don't know how well it'll last. Is there any energon in here? For the, time being. the story uh, continues. Got you. The painter sits down with the good doctor and his family. They exchange pleasantries and speak about the wedding ceremony tomorrow. As they talk, the good doctor's wife and daughter eat their meal. The good doctor watches the painter as his eyes move from left to right, and he eats. The good doctor only asks the painter one question. He says, how do you feel about tomorrow? The painter explains that he is excited for his friends and happy that they have a new beginning. The good doctor smiles. The meal goes on and they finish. The painter stands and without looking at his host, he gathers the pigments he needs. The good doctor notices. The painter stares at the floor. He turns and looks to the back door. He feels something. It's distant, cold, and familiar. The painter decides to investigate. My friends, this way. A good dinner. Oh, I think I don't might know what it is. I don't know if you know the game, you know what it is. It's that you shot him. Whoa. <laughs> just shot him. <laughs> Who's trying to pull on my ear? You almost, you might have shot the Sorry. doctor. <laughs> yeah, just see the movement. Just like, nobody's Ow. been shot. Yeah. Stood in front of me before. <laughs> Don't shoot the people. <laughs> somebody shoot somebody. Don't shoot the people. You just see the movement. Well. My friends. Listen carefully. At this time, make sure your world music is turned on. I repeat, make sure your world music is turned on. Music is an important part of the story. And next, everyone, please go inside this room, open the box, and be silent. No, okay. Music. 
is a mysterious thing. It can make one remember moments long forgotten. Things one may have wanted to forget. Or wanted to remember. This music belonged to the painter. It reminds him of a woman far away from here. Hence, the name of this song is Far Away Promise. As the notes play, the painter realizes he doesn't know the woman's name. He doesn't even know what she looks like. All he knows is that she exists. And he must find her. My friends, the painter stands for a while and decides it's time to go home. Please, let's make haste to follow the painter back to Lahan village. This way, friends. Yeah. There we are. Hey, where's that item? There's an item in here somewhere. Where's that? <laughs> yep, there's that. Okay. Come on in, you crazy. Now I have that. Why do we gotta make this jump again? I think we're just. Stop here. Copyright strike. We're really bringing that back. It's an old man. Not old. Not the very old. Just does it fit outside of the house to me? Or die, Protag. Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not about. I don't do that sort of thing. Well, walk this way with the story. You shot me. The painter makes his way down the mountain path, and as he crosses the bridge, he looks down the rocky hills, and he sees something <laughs> off. He sees a faint red glow. He looks closer, and he sees embers ascending into the air. The village. The village is on fire. No. The painter races back to Lahan. My friends, this way. My family had a parrot that would yell fire. Oh yeah, we're supposed to train music off the ring. I guess it's Those easier if we don't, because you just have to tell us to look around to get out anyway. Um, Brings back memories of waking up at 6 a.m., going straight into the workout of a lifetime. The sun bush is a great Bring it on, bring it on, second lieutenant, come on. Bring it on. How was your weekend, man? What? Oh, shit! 
Ladies, <laughs> ladies. Oh, oh, it's a rat. Travelers, it's a rat. your attention, please. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Shadow oh, saw it. The I'm story hit you you're gonna fall continues. On, the <laughs> on your beanbag. The painter enters the village. Everything. Everything is ablaze. Everyone in a panic. He looks up and he freezes. There, suspended in the sky, their thrusters firing, are mechs out of place in such a village as this. There are long rifles drawn. The painter watches in horror as each of these mechs shoulder their long rifles and open fire. He now understands all his friends, his loved ones, all that he holds dear is under attack. And the painter scrambles to save them through the gunfire and flames. In the chaos, he begins to black out. And just as his vision fades, a winged, dark mech soars across the sky. My friends, this way. I'm sorry, man, I, I didn't know where the fire was, I didn't know where the smoke was. Uh, you should have been in late. I'm now in the this, feels like, this feels like a Pokemon like side. I tried adding something. I love this. Like, this feels like this feels like Dragon Ball. <laughs> like I'm in the anime. Just don't click on them or you're gonna go to the little area. Ooh, interesting. They all fit in the black room Yeah. Oh, it's the flying machine to see the happy music over the fire. Oh, look, it's nice shit. Well, maybe I Yeah, I I love it. I thought adding it fits perfectly. Sorry, the story <laughs> continues. The painter awakens. He sits up. The ground around him is singed, burned. There is a column of smoke coming from where the village used to be. Used to be? He looks harder. It's gone. Lahan village has been destroyed. Everything that he has ever known, ever had. The wedding? His friends? Everything is gone. Confused and disoriented. The painter turns and looks the other direction. He sees a forest. And beyond the forest, he sees the great desert. The painter looks at the sand, and he can't remember when he first came here. He can't remember anything, it seems. Why? What are the names of his friends? Who was getting married? He realizes he doesn't have anything left. But there is one thing. One thing that his mind holds on to, and that is the memory of the woman from the song. Travelers, the painter takes a step forward into uncertainty. And he walks toward the great desert, not knowing where he will go this way <laughs> copyright strike <laughs> right, <it's> <laughs>
Yes, yeah. you're right. Strike. Look at this. Refrain from clicking on anything and listen carefully. The painter is unsure of where he will end up, unsure of where his path goes. But the painter is not a fool, and he knows wandering into the desert without supplies is suicide. And thus, he stops in the city of Dazil. My friends, the trade city of Dazil is an interesting place. When you click this city, there is a chance that you will be returned to the spawn room. If that happens, I apologize. Remember to hit the reset music button and make your way back here. Everyone, please, enter the trade city of Des- The story continues. The painter makes his way into the desert trade city of Dazil. He realizes he needs to get supplies. And thus, travelers, this is your first quest. Listen carefully. There is a sand buggy in this city. It's there in the distance behind me. I will be waiting for you at the sand buggy at the end of this quest. All of you have five minutes to complete the following. Locate one red toolbox. Locate a lone spare tire. The tire must be lone and not in a group. Locate a shotgun. Locate a bar with many bottles of things to drink. Lo locate a water well to fill those bottles with. Bonus item, locate a second shotgun. And super bonus item, locate four cactuses if you have time. Travelers, Ooh, do super not bonus. be late. Your quest begins now. Bar. Oh, with many bottles, I can't steal. I can't. I think I can't commit. F. I love. Bar. Uh, uh, cantina. This we got a cack. Found the lone tire. There's the well. 
What's the main ingredient? Do? Snake oil? Snake oil? No, no. Three. The main thing that we're looking for is a red fill box and a single wheel. So that's just the main thing in a shotgun. Those are the main things. Oh no, so so. Never look. The morning hat for the hats burn. They did a legion shrine. Hello. When you drive uh, over uh, hot ass tarmac, and if they it becomes too tree. fast, you will destroy your yeah. recap yeah. tires and they will something. blow out. My company did not have dash cams installed at that time. Yep. This thing is dear, does it? Two minutes. Creatures, right? Excuse me, do you accept creatures? Oh, he's found them later. Alright, right. paint job's the done. Thing. I'm doing my tactics. The thing is, all the objects. I found yeah. them later. Yeah. Bunch of pickle before me. Something? Hundred times. I've, I've say, known this shit for a long time. The no army. way! That's the stuff. Yeah, it's a mini jar. <laughs> Eat them like an apple. It's a small. Oh, thank God you know mouse men. It's a I, small I really jar like of pickles. There was bread and butter. I don't know what's going on. What are you guys right here? Also, also yellow cat. <laughs> I don't know. No, I it's like a mini pickle. Like that's the same. No, I only found one. Sorry. <laughs> my teeth are great. My teeth are my right. My top teeth on my right side hurt really bad. I'm bringing plants. Uh, because uh, I got my braces tight. Oh, play serious. This is a bunch of your teammates. Oh my god, you are a tall girl. Let me tell you. I like my wife. Hey, that's one of yours. 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 I see. How oh, weird. You can't invite him. Four people. Five of us. No. no. What is the clone doing on Tatooine? Uh, well, he's in a world of eight yeah, people right now, so he's got to see that. Minecraft. Oh, that's why. Valid statements. What do you think, Tech Nerd? What do you think will happen next? Huh? Don't like metal, Jim. No, I, I don't want to. I don't want any spoilers for him. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert! I've already seen the story. I had no, I, I, I don't want no spoils for, for the metal, Jim. Oh my God! Violet, you're here. By the gods. Oh my God! I've never seen this story. I don't know. I don't know right? He got his reservations. It's at like this French bistro. That he got his reservations. Yeah, well, so a different squad, bitch. Like, four, we didn't do anything in that squad. Three, what the fuck? Two, <laughs> one. Hello, Mario. Traveler. Hello, Mario. Your attention, please. The story continues. Your time has expired, and the quest is over. Travelers, did you find all of the items? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. We did. We did. Collectively? <laughs> Collectively as a group? <laughs> yes. Attention, travelers. Whoever found four cactuses, please jump up and down at this time. 
found. I found five. There's a couple behind you. Oh. The correct word is cacti. Forgive yep, me. It's cacti. I am still learning to mimic <laughs> mortals. Now, the final question. Well, the second and to last final question. Whoever found five cacti, jump up and down. <laughs> I did actually. Awesome. <laughs> you did. After the tour, if you found a total of five cacti, please stop by Sheen's bar. We need to talk. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> sounds pretty <laughs> sussy to me. No. Travelers, I ask all of you this. It's not bad. What? Does the trade desert city of Dazil remind you of? Star Trek. Tatooine. <laughs> yeah. Dazil from the video game Xenogears on the PS2. Oh, yeah. PS1? PS1, sorry. One of those two. Yeah, just Mandalorian. That's all I got. Just all the cities in Mandalorian. Or just some kind of I get the right to say no. I live in this world. Actually, no, pirate Travelers, your excellent. attention, please. The story continues. The painter gathers the supplies necessary <laughs> and he rents a sand buggy. Warn. He braves the desert. He hits the gas and he rolls onto the dunes. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> this way. I'm a painter from my okay. Is there a maiden in trouble? Yeah. Follow me, I know. That's the guy. And I turn to my master for some reason. <laughs> We're in the dunes of the desert. It's just like <laughs> the dune with the buggy and the dune with the dune. Put the dune on the buggy. The dune the buggy. Dune buggy. What the buggy doing? Stop yeah. switching sides, Jesus Christ. The buggy dune made the buggy man from the buggy man. The buggy man from the buggy man. The buggy man from the buggy man. The buggy man from the buggy uh, how about Jimmy? Sir, watch as I ship that push to see. The story <laughs> continues. Your attention, please. The story continues. The painter plows through the dunes in his sand buggy. And the day grows short. The sun sets. The sky turns black. And the air turns freezing. The painter rides for a long time. He begins to think about where he's going and why, and he realizes he doesn't know the answer. He begins to realize he is truly lost. The painter tries to think about where he's from, people from his past. And for some reason, it cannot become clear to him. A bunch of What's going on? Bulge in my fucking picture. It's, it's pretty interesting. Soon, the painter sees something on the horizon. It's a ship. A sand cruiser. He zooms in. And he sees as it, it is in fact a military vessel with cannons on the side. The painter suddenly remembers his history. He remembers that this nation is at war. The desert kingdom of Ava. With the steampunk empire of Nortun to the north. Yes. The painter turns off his lights, he turns off the engine, and he goes below deck, and he hides. The ground shakes, and soon he hears troops mobilizing around him. 
it's too late. My friends, the painter has been captured and taken prisoner by the country of Ava. And he is now on a sand ship, a military vessel. Everyone, listen carefully. Do not leave the first room. I repeat, do not leave the first room and click on the desert Ava sand ship this way. This is looking like, I don't know, somewhere you'd be put if you were capped. Sure. Hey, this looks like my quarters in my Star Cruiser. I mean, <clears throat> Hey, this looks kind of like Battle Pass. Like a bad game, Zeno. Born again. Oh. Yep. This is great. I yeah. can't see anything. Idea, an ideal situation, an ideal partnership. Yes, it is beautiful, Lady Juliet. But I ask you this. Hmm? Physical limitations. How do you be sure that the other person is thinking the same things as you under any circumstance? Body language, and it would also depend on how long you have known the individual as well. So you are saying that it depends on your ability to perceive outside actions by the second party. 
and your own yes. judgment of what you perceive would tell you whether or not they are in line with your own exact mental state. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. But how do you know, Lady Juliet, that you are correct? Because, because you would follow your intuition if you read their body language and you can and they appear happy and they appear for like if they appear, for example appear happy and they appear appear to be in good spirits and you can guess with a 50 50 that they are definitely indeed happy so in other words you will know if you know <laughs> my warrant officer is gonna <laughs> smack me i mean i should be in quiet actuality, now. <laughs> no i wanted in to actuality, say something lady juliet <laughs> you are not far off i believe this is very true it is true you will know if you know but <laughs> i have time for a few more who else will answer this question my headset stopped <laughs> Diarmid. i hesitate to answer now but lady juliet mentioned true love and well, I would say yes, complete mutual understanding exists. And I personally would define it as the true love of two souls, or two parts of a soul in the same body. Two souls. But then you said <laughs> soul two parts of a soul. Tell me, Diarmid, are you speaking of two conscious beings or one? If tread carefully, Diarmid, because depending on your answer, you will be saying that complete mutual understanding is impossible between two conscious beings, between two lovers, as many of us here are eager to know the answer to. I think if, as long as it's within the same body, the same consciousness, then there has to be complete mutual understanding. As long as it's within the same body. So far I'm with you, but I have one more follow-up question, Diarmid. One more challenge for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. You said it okay. has to be. Why? To perceive someone's perception, you need that, I suppose, physical part which can perceive. To perceive someone's Perception, you need which physical part? I do not follow. Hmm. Well, if two people are in the same body, then one can perceive through the eyes, the ears, the nose of that other individual, the brain, perhaps. I see two consciousnesses occupying the same body. Perhaps you mean two souls. What an interesting arrangement. Could complete mutual understanding exist between two that are no longer limited by separate physical barriers? Yes, they see, they feel. And due to the limitations of DNA and the structure of their synapses in their brain, they are able, they have access to the same thought patterns. Is this enough? Is this extreme physical example enough 
for two souls to be in unity? thought the truth is that i do not know the answer and we have time for one more thank you hmm. diarmid who will take the floor oh god i chicken out i chicken out <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. My palms were sweating already, and I didn't even say anything. <laughs> Tell me, ghoulish, does complete mutual understanding exist? And if it does, how do you define it? I would say no. Because though people had mentioned soulmates, soulmates can be completely platonic. I have pretty good best friends in my life that are basically platonic soulmates to me. We now always agree. Because friendship won't come with just happiness. It will come with failure. Success doesn't come naturally. It comes with trial and error. It will never be a full agreement. People will always have their differences. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Usually, that will make the best friendship and or relationship in general. Because you can't always just be the same, because if everything was the same, it'd be boring. The best is difference. The same is boring. <laughs> so, Gulish, are you suggesting that the inability to completely be in line with another's thoughts is superior than the former. Yes, I do. Interesting, Goyish. I do not disagree with you. And your notion not only is interesting, but it holds hope. Yes, hope. Hope that clearly paints a path of work. Thank you. The story continues. Okay, okay. Cephalon, do your thing. Time has expired, and the painter waits. Soon the answer comes to him. Yes. Yes. Travelers, complete mutual understanding means What's that noise? The ship, it's been struck. It must have been a torpedo. The door, it breaks loose. The lock falls to the floor, and the painter, he braces himself, and he realizes this is his chance to escape. Travelers, listen carefully. This is your next quest, and it is time-sensitive. The sand ship is sinking and under attack. The painter must find the exit, and so must you. My friends, run for your lives. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Don't come this way, don't come this way, don't come this way. I always right. make this mistake. Next way, people. You gotta go down to go up. Move back, kids. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> now, this is true oh, hardcore parkour. Oh,
Have you seen accidentally fallen? Because I've seen you fall down a lot of times. In from this train. <laughs> There's like a thingy down there. <laughs> the story continues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the story continues. <laughs> He looks at the cockpit and it opens <laughs> and he jumps for his life. It's the only way, travelers. Jump. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> if this goes badly, I can all <laughs> Why am I stuck in midair? <laughs> Just... There we go. I'm a perfect generic clone. I'm part of the 91st reconnaissance. Okay. You. I can actually sound like a god. Didn't. Banana, banana, banana. Banana, banana. I'm genetic perfect. I'm bred for athletics. You're bred? Huh, hum, hum. Oh, wait. Huh, hum. Copyright so, uh, strike. Did, what yeast do you use? Yo, motherfucker. Please go high. It's a genuine question. Yeah, no, yeah. You don't fuck with a clone yeah. trooper because yeah, clone trooper put a bolt to your body. I did not ask. Also, get plus That's ratio. Really Travelers, <laughs> gather <laughs> around. The story continues. The painter doesn't know who attacked the ship or why. He doesn't care. He finds his way through flames of the sinking vessel to the upper deck. There it is. The dark mech. He looks at the chest plate and it opens. He doesn't understand how, but he pilots the dark mech, sprinting away from the wreckage. However, he doesn't make it far, as his path is blocked. Now, standing before him, is a tall, crimson mech. Two segmented golden whips hang from each arm. A black eye patch covers one of the head sensors. And a large white feather adorns the head armor. The painter tries to move around his opponent, but it quickly strikes the ground at the dark mech's feet, leveling the dune between them. They stare each other down as the sand slowly falls around their metal armor, gleaming under the hot desert sun. The painter prepares to fight for his life, and this is your next quest, travelers. The Crimson Mech strikes again. It's fast. The painter has a window for action. And you have 30 seconds to answer. What does the painter do? Dodge and go for the wrist. Mother's instinct. Oh, punch where the pilot would be in this in the red mat. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that one. I, I want to say the other one. I have a laser. Mass research on carbon the weapons. Based weapons. And I've already been told that the groin is the weakest spot. I'm sweet, but we should go for the groin. No, where the pilot is. I like that one. No friends, no allies. Kill him. That's where the pilot is. Or the I'll first. rape you. That makes a lot of sense. Shoot the fuel tank. where the pilot it. is. <laughs> Be that asshole that just snaps the iPad. Five, four, three, two, one. Travelers, time expired. I will call on one of you. Grembu, may I call on you? Yeah, sure. Tell me, Grembu, what does the group say, or what do you say? The Crimson Mech attacks. What does the uh, painter I mean, do? I think the group says. The group says, I think, to, uh, to go for the pilot. And I say to shoot the fuel tank. Ooh, that does work. I understand. You should have aimed for the head. 
<laughs> the crimson neck raises its right arm oh. high, and the golden whip glimmers under the desert sun as it whips down and strikes the sand. The dark mech dodges, and he's out of sight before the crimson mech can notice it's too late. The painter pilots the dark mech right under him and a swift uppercut to the chest plate where the pilot sits sends the crimson mech flying and causes severe damage. <laughs> Destruction! <laughs> the crimson mech gets up and prepares for a second strike. The dark mech is ready. And travelers, you have 30 seconds. The crimson mech prepares to attack. What does the painter do? Bobby. 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 Discombobulate. Rip it down. Discombobulate. We don't have a crimson mech. Do not destroy it. Your neck is popping out of your collar, by the way. Because bitches will can it. And 360 no scope him. Yes. Discombobulation is funny. Time has expired. Pharaoh, tell me, what does the painter do? Um, I think if we have a ranged weapon, we should aim for the other eye, because we know one is already fucked up, so if he can't see us, we can get away. Oh, hey, Juki, I see you climbing up the mech there. Oh, try to anyway. And if we don't have a ranged attack, then, you know, try to punch for that eye. Yeah, because I revealed your position. Blinding is that's a good idea. Yeah, because one's already messed up. Is if the painter has an attack suitable, they should go for the eye. Is that correct? Yes. Preferably ranged. The crimson mech readies both of its whips, swinging them high into an X right above surrounding the desert sun. The painter searches the dashboard, looking for a ranged weapon. He doesn't see one, but he's fast, and he realizes his next option is a physical melee attack. The two golden whips descend downward at sonic speed. But the painter, the dark mech, is faster. It dives mm. forward, narrowly missing the intersection of the X. The golden whips ignite the sand in an explosion. The painter is now behind the crimson mech. He springs forward, jumping up above. He grabs the head with his right arm, and with his left, he rocket powers a fist directly into the open eye socket, shattering it completely. The crimson mech falls to its knees. And the dark mech writes itself. An al alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning. <laughs> ether amplifier fully charged. Warning. Ether down. amplifier fully Ooh. charged. That sounds like a good thing. <laughs> Travelers, the crimson mech is on its knees, and the dark mech is ready. What will the painter do? You have 30 seconds. 
Do not do that. Spare it. Spare it. Spare it. Spare it. Spare it. Spare it. Knees, right? He's on his knees, right? Let's go around there. Mm -hmm. I don't think they should destroy it. Okay, yo. I think we should just crash. Alright, can you DM him and let him know to get back to his again? If he's just gonna come back. What do you think? Oh, we can crush him. Yeah, we should open the chest like that. Kill him with mech power. The black mech is supposed to have wings. I, I go with an Rock is online, by the way. He's just been engaged. Him. I know he's online. He just DM'd me asking if the event was still on. He's gonna join off me any minute now. I'm a letting you live. It's because your aim is ass. I hope my mercy doesn't I'm a come back to haunt me later on. Superior. <laughs> right. It's superior. Right. Superior still lasts. It's, it's Star Wars. Yes, you have fingers. Congratulations. Do you want a golden I star? <laughs> <laughs> I was like so obsessed with that fingies. Four. Oh, calm down, <laughs> Chief like Warrant Officer. Two. One. Time has expired. Muffin button six nine six. Tell me, what Ooh. will the painter do? Ooh. Okay, okay. So I think the painter should honestly rip open the chest cavity of the the crimson <laughs> mech and grab the pilot out. So we can question the pilot. What? what? Other than killing him. Yeah, question is better. A right? human, a human being will push a self-destruct button. Yes. Well, is it self-destructive? It's your last chance to press the cancellation button. I say it might. Your answer oh, is might. heard. The story continues. The dark oh, mech oh, approaches oh, the crimson mech. With its left hand, oh, it grabs the neck. And with its right, it shoves its fingers, penetrating the chest plate. It's reaching for the cockpit to rip it out of the chest. Ow. It causes damage, and the crimson mech you want mech? has fires erupt from it. No. Before the painter can open the chest plate completely, off in the distance, something disturbs the sand. The dunes oh, no. erupt, and I an know, enormous sand ship emerges from below the great desert this sand ship quickly fires on the dark mech igniting the sand around it the painter sees the firepower and knows that he is outmatched he lets go of the crimson mech ignites his thrusters opens the wings and flies into the desert sky oh. to escape. Oh, I was kind of to hold on to it, but whatever. The pilot of the Crimson Mech is alive, and the painter has escaped with his life. My friends, this way. Awesome mech battle. Just to let you aware, we're going to be able to defend. Oh, yeah. 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 That was totally encephalon. Yeah. 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 The painter flies through the desert sky for a long while. Eventually, he spots a large metropolis, a desert kingdom. Yes, he's heard of this place, the Great Desert Kingdom, the city of Bledivik. My friends, please, for your first quest, enter the city and gather around me.
Introduce themselves as Desert Pirates. The Desert Pirates that attacked the painter just now, just before. The painter stands up off the floor. He raises his fist and he prepares to fight. The desert princes raise their hands and motion that they're not here to fight. They're here to make a deal. You see, they noticed the painter's mech had ether capabilities. They noticed his power. And they wish to ask his help. Yes, these desert pirates wish to make a deal. Travelers, to continue the story, to hear the deal of the desert pirates, you must complete a quest. And the quest is as follows. I will be waiting for you at the back of the city. You must go to the very back of the city to find me, waiting for you in a square. You will have 10 minutes to complete this quest, and you must not be late. One more important note, travelers. There is a door in this city that is broken. That door, if you click on it, will cause the whole world, the whole floor, to despawn. And everyone will go back to the respawn room kindly ask that you please do not click that door. My fellow tour guide, Trey Jim, will be standing in front of that door. Does everyone see Trey Jim here? He looks like a hypercube, similar to me. Remember, travelers, mm. if you see Trey Jim standing in front exception. of that door, please do not click that door. If you do click it and you are sent to the respawn room, hit the reset music button and go through the door that says Bled to Vic. Now, your quest is as follows. Please locate the following. Number one. The Aquarium. Number two. The Weapon Shop. Number three. The Secret Hotel Exit. Number four. The Metal Walls of the Machine Shop. And number five. The Small Toy Mech on display that's five items travelers number one the aquarium number two the weapon shop number three the secret hotel exit number four the metal walls of the machine shop and number five the small toy mech on display this time you have ten minutes and you must not be late your quest begins now Okay, I wrote the list down this time. Okay. <laughs> well, I was nervous when I walked out of it. Oh. No secret exits. 
big fucking dragon. This seems like a secret exit to me. At least you're close fucking enough. The hotel. Mac looks like <coughs> Let me steal it. Wait, how are you reading? How is it? Okay. I am tiny. Yes, you are. Let me move you up a bit. Or down. <laughs> can you make the thing can you can you make it look like I'm inside the orb? You I feel like I'm just sitting on it doesn't look like it to me. It looks like I'm sitting on top of a globe, but you I look are down it. and see my body. No, yeah, you're inside you're inside it. <laughs> yeah, you're inside it. Well you did something with your hands that made it look like I like from my perspective like this? the shader was all around me. <laughs> nope, I don't see anything. Yeah. That is not Yes, friend. Oh, Andy, we'll this. Do it for a moment. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Where'd you it's find this? Right. Where'd you find this avatar, Andrew? You can't. I can't see anything past this orb anymore. Okay, wait a moment. I am inside of the orb. Yeah, where'd you find there? Ah, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Flash bang my head. <laughs> I've been captured. Tricky cat. Where'd I'm you Pokemon. find this avatar at? Your Pokemon. I find it in, uh, what is that called? The secret library or something like that? Huh. Okay. It's really cool. Well, so let me check the name of it. In the library. Hmm. Called in for the library has some uh, text in a language I don't know before, the, before it says infinite library. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it shrank me down. Yeah, it did. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's not the first time Smiles has been this stuck body. inside something. Bro, your height's like literally my height in real life. I'm 5'7". Thank you. Welcome Me? The city. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 5 foot even. <laughs> God damn it, Sal. <laughs> yeah, I'm tiny. <laughs> God damn it, Sal. <laughs> I hate it. 
because I'm Am not I wrong? Be able, I'm not able to go anymore. <laughs> I've reached that Get here first. Although I probably hop out before I change back. Out Usually the it's the other way around. Me, so. True. Yeah. <laughs> that that's even worse. Just in case that it, something breaks if I do it when we're in there. The fucking muffin here is tall as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can hit I'm at me first. That, that's what I meant. I don't know what you wear. Hopefully I didn't break anything. And it could be the other way around. It could be, you know, you stuck inside of it. I don't know. We're on a recon mission. My freaking crew is going to get faster than that. Nice. I love the power of the speed. I have an update about the Canadian. I love power rangers. Protect. Oh, yeah. I really was worried that something would break. Power Rangers. <laughs> Power Morphicons in two weeks. Power Morphicons in two weeks. Legion of the Clone Army. My name is Commander Ares of the 55th Reconnaissance. What is this? What? 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 what, what, what I like what? Mystic Force, but that sounds pretty cool too. You're welcome. What's we point at? It did weird things for my what does this button do? when I changed all this. Touching my calm device. Yeah, Power Morphicon is Man, in two well, weeks. No all Power Rangers all the time. Go, go, yeah, I'm going to it. I'm, I, I go every year. Every, every two, it's every two years. So I'm going to it this year. I'm going to it in two weeks. That's a contact, my superior. How does your, how does your visor work? Yeah, I, have, I have a bunch of um, helmets. I got a bunch of helmets. I have autographs. How can you, how can you control that heads up this Yes. <laughs> No, That's all right. Together, because together we can make the color orange. He's the he's, he's the white ranger. Are you, you okay, Osiris? You know what? You're right. He is the white tiger ranger. Osiris? There we go. And then I think Osiris died. Nice yellow ranger. Are you okay? I don't know what you. Are you okay, Captain? You did it to yourself. I am the green ranger. I am the green ranger. I am the green power ranger. Green But um, otherwise, I will fix hey, everything. Hey, what, what My wrist cuffs, I already know. I they're already fixed. Oh, um, like I'm glad it's not on. I just That's need the new so texture. What's going on right now? Is the event over? Or are we just no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you when I'm going to finish. 
The group you guys are in seems like something really interesting I can do when I am not. Touch an arm! This button do. This is so much fun. Working our way to figuring out why the mech attacked us and find a way to be right here. Yeah? Uh, we can talk afterwards. We're going on a trip and our favorite rocket ship shooting good. Travelers. 10,000 thank yous. Time has expired and your quest is completed. Tell me, travelers, did you find all five locations? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. So long it takes yes. We have found There's it. There's nothing around here, is it? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, travelers. The story continues. The desert pirates explain to the painter that they are in fact desert princes yes their father the king of Bledevik the ruler of the country of Ava passed away recently upon his passing a corrupt military leader took control of the kingdom mobilized the forces and began attacking neutral parties neutral villages this corrupt leader seek to win the war and finally take control of the continent of Ignis this corrupt leader ousted the desert princes forcing them to live among loyalists on a sand cruiser alone in the desert and they did they scour the sands pillaging what they can from military vessels to survive waiting for the opportunity to overpower the kingdom's military and they met the painter the dark mech with ether capabilities enough firepower they suspect an ether amplifier yes a powerful weapon they ask the painter to help them attack the desert capital to attack the castle tomorrow to overthrow the corrupt military leader and take back the throne the dark mech does not respond to anyone except the painter they've already tried the painter says why should I help you and the desert princes explain that if the painter helps them take back the throne they will help the painter find the woman from his memory the woman from the song the painter thinks for a long while on what to do should he trust them he looks at them and he feels like they are telling the truth. They seem like honest souls. He feels they are good people. But something is off. He never told them about his past. He never told them about the woman from the song. How did they know? Something is off. 
But my friends, you have a choice. Listen carefully. At this time, the tour group will split into two. If you ch choose to trust the desert princes and help them take back the throne, stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trey Jim. If you choose to not trust the desert princes and go your own path, stand next to my fellow tour guide, Rendizo. Make your choice. I thought the encephalon already choose. Where is it? Oh, it's not there. Here it is. It doesn't work in VR mode. I don't care. I'm not allowed, but I don't know. I'm not gonna do that. No. My old avatar said a so no option. Let's say we go the intel room. So, thanks to my helicopter form, I was able to make it up to those seats up there. You know, the uh, fly avatars are really helpful. If only someone could take a picture of me up there, that'd be cool. Yeah. Well, it's suspicious how they know. How do they know? Do they know us? Maybe they don't. Well, they're fucking princes, dude. Travelers, your attention, please. You have chosen Rendizo. Well done. Please, oh, okay. listen carefully. I ask that you show your new tour guide Rendizo the same respect that you showed me when I was telling the story. Good luck, travelers. Travelers. Wait, which one's this? Do not trust thing? I've this actually is? done this. <laughs> this is the not trust thing. The same I've done this story before. We're actually supposed right, well, to go on that go. side, but... Travelers. Well, we can just sort of walk over there. Oh, yes. Okay, what is that and what is this? I think that it Yeah! Yippee! Luigi! Let's start running. Speed it up. Oh, it's a machine. Hello, Mario. Jaunt down memory lane. Keep going. Slow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, she inception. Catch up. Equalization, at some point you and I gotta bring that back, the Warrior Bro duo for an NPC thing again. <laughs> Is this everyone? Metal. Uh, and you should go where you That's our tour guide. Yes. Oh, okay. Let me let me just mm. count real quick. Can I count everyone? <sighs> I lost count. You have to be accountable. You gotta be accountable for it. No, I'm not gonna. Hold on, I can fix that. Probably 14. Seems like everyone, let's get. Okay, uh, Diarmid, can you stand in the direction we'll go next?
better be right. I think you're wrong, but you better be right. No pressure. <laughs> the painter thinks back during his time in the desert battle. He has no memory of using any radio, and no memory of telling his opponent that he's looking for a woman. Something is wrong. He decides not to trust the two pirates, or princes as they claim. In the middle of the night, before the castle siege, he seeks out... He sneaks out of the city and takes the dark mech. This way. Yeah, you were wrong. And you knew you were wrong. <laughs> my clone intuition gave me some good advice. But Never trust you. strangers. This for UV mapping. Look, Sarah. Ah, I don't think I've been here before. Do shit talk for UV mapping. He says we're going here yet. Hmm? Oh, that's where we're going. Gather around, so. everybody. We're not going yet. The painter flies for a long time over endless desert. The mech seems to be able to maintain course without input. He drifts to sleep in the cockpit. Suddenly, the painter is jolted awake. He's at ground level, pinned down by two military green mechs. He can't move and sees in front of him a soldier, commanding he open the chest plate. The painter is so confused and tired, he obliges. My friends, we have been taken prison by the rival empire of Kislev. We are now being escorted by border patrol guards to their capital city, Nortun. Click on the disc that says go to Nortun to enter Nortun. Yes. Like, honestly, I almost had nightmare flashbacks with of of Omo Chow from Sonic. The worst video yes. game guy. <laughs> My friends. Press A to jump. We've been taken prison by the rival empire Kislev. We've been fitted with bomb collars around our necks, and we were told that these will explode should we leave the city perimeter. We are now being escorted really. by border patrol guards to their capital city, Nortun. Follow me to Prisoner's Block D. Click on the large green capsule in front of me to enter. Fuck! My clone intuition failed. <laughs> oh, well, it's a good thing there's more of you. Oh shit. Oh, boy. oh wow. I didn't even realize that happened. Yeah, crime zero oh. This way. Ooh. Halt. Halt. There. Yeah. Who's uh, all this then? Uh, look at our next dumbass. <coughs> uh, sassy on, bitch, guys. I see. Alright, so, you're mm -hmm. coming with me first. Straight into that door. And you don't get dinner. The rest of you, the rest of you, follow along. And any more back talking, and there will be consequences. I just yes, think sir. I was gonna be nice to you all. Why am I being treated this way? I'm an Autobot. I had to fight for it. One orange bottle. It's Two miles. orange bottle. You See you learn to talk from you. There's curfew down and all that. So don't go out, don't be caught. That's all there. Okay. <laughs> 
And I better not find one of you breaking curfew. You got that? What time is curfew? Mm -hmm. So sue me. Now. Oh, what if we got well, I guess we're all leaving, Rindy, so curfew's up, so we gotta go to bed. <laughs> more shit than the Republic, jeez. Wrong kind of curfew. Don't I'm let me catch you out there. Well. Anyways, now that we're here, the painter sits down and waits. Unsure of what to do next. After a few minutes of waiting, a spy greets the painter. And he tells him that he noticed that fancy, cool, dark mech that he was piloting. The spy asks the painter for a favor, and in exchange, the spy will help the painter escape the prison and maybe remove the bomb collar. And then, the spy will help the painter retrieve his mech. This favor is as follows. You will go around Nortune's D block and search every building. There are seven orange bottles. Find them all and return here. However, you must make sure to not be seen by the guards that are patrolling the area. It's past curfew, so you'll likely get in lots of trouble if you're caught. Crouching behind things has proven to be a pretty useful strategy. Anyways, you have seven minutes, and yes, the bottles in this building do count. Return to me when you are done. Okay. You may begin. Well, I think my stealth shouldn't work good. I do transform into a helicopter. I probably shouldn't stand out too much. Helicopters are not here. Gravity works again. Huh? Who goes there? Is someone there? Seven orange bottles. Halt! Halt there! Got it. If I could up, I could get a better vantage point. Reconnaissance. I found six. Where's the seven? Something. I hear something. I drop down. And not see them. Uh, Must have been the wind. So, 
Apparently, there's three bottles here. One, two, and there's a th three. third orange one. Right here. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, then I found seven. Yes, there's one room uh, on the outside that has one bottle, and there's another room that has three bottles, and there are three bottles in this room. My reconnaissance has fared me favors. Special Forces of the Republic, that's what we're good at. How many are we missing? Good question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. At least five, I think. Minus the NPCs. They're not gonna believe me once I get back to the Republic. I came to this weird world. Boy, what the fuck? God damn it, boy. What appears to be how I'm counting that Ragnaros, just so you know. Okay, that is so weird, so. It is what it is. Oh shit, is that all I gotta do to get money in this economy? Let me pull out my journal and you write some more information down about this place. You take Bitcoin? <laughs> you take Bitcoin? Well, hold on, you know what? Uh, I'm Surely gonna... Not. I would not go for that this time. Okay. There are way better solutions. <laughs> I was surprised you decided to go with talking, with talking out. Ah, right. I can even lay down whenever Horizon adjusts his. It's really hard to do. When every door that you go out, one of the one of the two are in front of it. Yeah, if you want to sneak, like a cheaty way, I could just glance up. Likely to be successful. Yeah, that's what I did. It's it's been got up there. Seven minutes now. <laughs> I literally just hid inside the floor. Maybe everyone's here. Yeah, it's pretty um, much. Yeah. <laughs> Should have cheated. Seven, eight, 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 okay. What? But your feet. Your feet are still there. Like, like look. If I do I mean, that. When you do this, does it work? Oh, the trick. Well, I mean, for you it works, but for me it doesn't. Man, write this down as a talking mouse. Look at you with your full book. In that. fairness, he might have say, just ignored me given who the guard was. I mean, do you have full body? I need body? a sketch. I do. But... Okay, see, there you go. Way, there you yeah. go. Alright, and meanwhile, I am halfway dragged <laughs> up the floor. Okay. Yeah, well, cause, either way. Yeah, no full body in it. Yeah. Well, either way, Ghost Panda has a campfire. Just no, just no. Uh, All right, points. everybody, gather around. It's time to continue the story. Mm. Yeah, but I'm caught. Uh -oh. But I see Elman up there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh. Even Looks like he's been caught. Yeah, he's getting caught, I Flying guess. Flying as a helicopter, subtle it's as a It's hard break. to not notice a helicopter. Oh, well, keep in mind the encephalon yeah. has already planned everything, so it doesn't That's matter. That's why I'm specialized yeah, trained in reconnaissance. And my suit has the ability and invisibility. Ah, okay. Well, you might want to hide that before the guards get back. <laughs> Quickly, Morty, okay, I need you to shove this way up your butt way. <laughs> now I'm hoping that's everyone. Looks like it. I think, so. I yeah. think it's everyone, okay. boss. Let's continue the story then. For real. For realsies. Mm 
the painter makes his way back inside this room, this very room that we're all in, seven bottles in hand, and he approaches the spy waiting expectantly over at the table. This table. The spy smiles at the painter and takes the bottles one by one, emptying them into a large jug in his backpack. He explains that the drink is good, but it's also ever so slightly explosive. The spy then tells the painter that it's time to come up with a plan to escape. The painter looks confused, thinking, why didn't the spy already have a plan? Well, the answer to this question is your problem. You have five minutes. <laughs> All right. A simple well, plan. Why didn't the spy have a plan? Good then. The guards will be waiting at the door on that side. There's a ladder. Ah, oh, yes, we're using uh, meta knowledge. There is a ladder behind that door over there. It's not meta knowledge. It's just oh, the things that them. have been seen. Yeah, anyway, we go up the ladder up the back, our... we <laughs> climb, we climb the building here, and then we go all the way around, and then we pass them. And then someone throws some explosive bottles near this side of the door, uh, distracting the guards and letting us escape. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think Where's we me? sacrifice the helicopter as sacrifice, well, we, as a distraction. Yeah, do it too well. That would be a Might help, who knows. <laughs> Um, I probably Pretty messed up, you don't leave fellow soldiers behind. I get it. I'm not a soldier, so it's fine. Adapt and overcome. Well, I am a robot in disguise. My disguise could help as a good distraction. See, exactly. I told you. Disguise if you're willing to sacrifice yourself, soldier, <laughs> it's all up to you. Uh, my my <laughs> helicopter mode is a, quite a disguise button. You don't even. We will, we will salute your noble sacrifice. You will be remembered. We will put your name on the. We will put your name on the memorial. We just sacrifice. And even then, the their tech man. can't really harm a cybertronian like me that easily. I mean, their their tech can keep me from I'm getting hurt by, by my blasters. He's got an inside of color. a cybertronian's corpse. I don't want to hear that. I fought separatists, and they fucked up a lot of my brothers. Uh, droids are pretty strong. I'm dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I mean, oh, you can hog them. You're not wrong in that. I like, like trains. I'd rather not any organics get hard. My whole point is the freedom is You're right. Just a droid. The right of all sentient beings. I'm not. Well, I'm a robot that has uh, feelings so you're a and you know, I'm a living robot. <laughs> You're a clanker. My whole. Oh. Uh, oh. Code. Now it's oh. getting personal. Oh. Now it's robot racism. Okay. What is going on here? Honestly, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, to face oh, racism either. on plenty of planets anyway. Some people can't even tell the difference between an Autobot and a Khan. They think we're all evil. I can't tell the difference between no droid. They killed a lot of my brothers. Anyway, let's move on. Meanwhile, I'm hungry. What's the plan here? Helicopter distraction is still up there. For part of the plan. Yeah. See, I told, I told you, noble sacrifice, noble sacrifice. Their weapons we'll literally write, can't harm we'll, me. We'll, we'll write your name down so somewhere. I can go as well to distract you. Oh man. Oh my. <laughs> okay. I suppose an easy way to put it I'm is just that in this situation, you are the painter. Would the painter be a robot? <laughs> Sad. No. Good point. We are collectively the painter. Everyone is John. Some of this that is uh, narrative tour. domain stuff. That is the case for every tour. You must think as a whole. Release the ego. <laughs> Release mm. the ego. Um, Judging by our group, I think the painter needs some psychiatric help. <laughs> and who was the dad who said that neutral understanding could exist? I don't think we do. 
we'll figure it out. I mean, I have a plan, kind of but <laughs> that just depends I on like if we want to change the plan. Let's hear what your let's hear what your well, come to a decision that's because you've got about a minute. All right, say we go back, draw the ladder, climb over, throw the bottles on the ground to distract the guards, and then run across and escape. That's the plan that I have. But don't we need to get? Mm. We don't need oh, a distraction if we're being sneaky. What? We just stealth 100. We just leap from rooftop to rooftop, all graceful like, like we're a fucking ninja. We, only we need do to a pirouette to off the phone no handle. Of course, my specialty <laughs> might. <laughs> okay, can you do I a pirouette? <laughs> I, th I think up. if you can do a 360 nice What is our plan? Let's go with what the arrow said, because I like the idea of using the bottles as just a distraction. We'll go rat plan. Operation well, pack rat. sounds good to me. Then let's get going. Lead the way. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. The ladder is right here. Just climb. Also, be quiet. <laughs> Don't say anything. Anything. Don't say anything. All right. Everyone, wait here. The bottle will be thrown here. All the way down to the the door over there. First, yes. Okay, we're throwing the bottle here, so they'll be distracted and move this way, and then we will move that way. All right. What about our callers? We're going to a different part of the city. We're not leaving the city yet. <laughs> Everyone come this way. I don't want to know. They just did. And yet, you just don't understand. Your uh, bottle? I don't hear anything. No, your no bottle, bottle but I. Uh, weird. No. You don't hear bottles. No. What do you hear? You hear the voice? I hear. No, I hear wind. Honestly, I just hear a lot of hot no, no, air. You, okay, no, you you hear about the guy that died at car day? No. They threw a bottle over by the door. Someone there. You can click the exit here. Whatever. Click the exit to leave. Hmm. Don't fall off. That would suck for you. Oh. <laughs> Eight, yes. <laughs> the guards. They were just distracted. Everything worked out. <laughs> Real the guards are just paranoid, and that worked out in our favor. Looks like we lost one. <laughs> Rip. Oh, really? I'm sure they'll be fine. Was it Elman? Somebody... Elman's I think broken. it was Elman. No. Somebody fell off. Oh! What? I'm right here. Man, you fell off. True. Oh. Fell off plus coach plus C. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell off. Oh, Good job. Don't get stuck in there, please. I will not get you out. I know. I know. Come on. Jump. There we go. I was thinking ahead hey, of... Is someone still in there? Like, if someone's still in there, well, I'm probably... Mm -hmm. We should probably... Uh, I can go take a peek real quick. Worst case scenario, I do have a flying avatar, just in case. Everyone is here. Oh, 
All right. Follow me, everybody. We're going to. Oh, that's right. The it's painter stops in his tracks. <laughs> the spy approaches him, and he points out the bomb colors. The painter feels a little dumb mm -hmm. for that one. The bomb colors have to be removed in order to leave the perimeter of Nortun. Yep. Worry not, however. The spy has a plan. He knows a guy in Block A. Let's head over to residential Block A of Nortun. Click on the green capsule. Fucking reconnaissance. Fucking mission failed epically. I think this music is more nostalgic than any other track. <laughs> Who's the whole world? Is everyone here? Okay. I think sure. So. Follow me. I'll speak to you while we walk. Prisoners are allowed here. However, their access is a little bit restricted. Obviously, they'll be a bit suspicious. And whenever they're suspicious... Anyways... Let's just head over to the place the spy takes us. I hope it's this building. I'm only 50% sure. It isn't. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. oh mean tour guide, you so mean. Fuck is... you. But yeah, the mi the mines are right here. <laughs> Spoilers. Ah, prisoners, what are you doing here out of your curfew? What? <laughs> Be quiet. I spoke too fast. It's oh. tour time. <clears throat> The spy leads the painter here into the tinkerer's shop. This is where the spy asks to have the bomb collars removed, but the tinkerer refuses. He crosses his arms. He looks the painter up and down. He shakes his head. The tinkerer explains. The people keep borrowing items from him, but never return them. The painter offers to find these items for the tinkerer in exchange getting the bomb collars removed. The eyes in the tinkerer's... What? The lights in the tinkerer's eyes light up, and he agrees and begins listing the items. You have yet another quest. You must find the following items. <laughs> Sorry about that. You must find the following items. Two lone green books. Two green landmines. One jukebox. And a pair of brown shoes. Sure. There are still guards patrolling, and they'll notice your bomb collar. Same rules as before. Don't get caught by the guards. Here's your green landmines. Go on, then. Hey, look. What are these? <laughs> <laughs> he just misplaced his item. All right, everyone, come as a group. The jukebox is over here. Oh, yeah. Jukebox. Jukebox. Yes, this is the jukebox. I don't remember where everything is, but. Well, it has been how many months? I did. You! Hey. Who goes there? There's someone there. Oh, we were... huh, I noticed this happening to my world as well. Outlines of pixels that don't belong. That weren't there for a while and then okay. they updated They're heading change. up that way, so we can probably unless they turn around, we should right. be able to go out. Do we want to see if I No, not yet. Yeah, right. green book one and some brown green book. Okay, yes. 
So we need to find one more lone green book. In other words, we can't use these because they're not by themselves. There is one other lone green book. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I think it's a keep going. Right here. Well, Do not go out. Don't go out. Don't go out. Don't go out. Metal Gen is right there. Okay, and let's go now and turn right. I heard something. Some... One there. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Where'd you go? Get back here. Doc, you! I've seen you before. You. What the hell are what? you doing I... out after curfew? You're out after curfew flying again. Get back to your cell. I honestly don't get how... Do you guys just not normally have helicopters here? No! We don't have helicopters. What are you doing? Just get back to yourself. I don't know what the hell you are. I don't get it. Okay, we got out the thing. We just need to get back to the thing for now. Yeah. Tinker's right or er, yeah. My reconnaissance sensor ray said there was an enemy nearby. I seen the bitch. Yeah. It's nice to have some advanced it armor. Yeah. I mean I can pretend and say it's like, yeah, I'm just checking out the door, so Me. <laughs> this one? Oh yeah, it's this one. Okay, oh there. <laughs> Mission accomplished, boss. <laughs> oh, there are two more lines. Mission right accomplished. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you have some wiggle room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's magic. You're missing someone. I sat my controllers on my keyboard. So I'm gonna guess it's oh, probably my the same person who was always missing. No, apparently it's your own. We're <laughs> missing several more people, I think. Not more than two, Dan surely. Coming this way. I wonder how much freaking uh, yeah, I I gold gold around then. Money he wants for some of these uh, uh -oh. blast he's about to cross rifles. Metal gun. <laughs> no, turn the other I'm pretty way. sure well, they've okay. seen me, but we need to hurry. I can't respond because that's not part of their. Where is it? I love you. Okay, there we go. Whew. Uh, what <laughs> were... The Elm, the Elm Sorry, it was... Still yeah, it's tricky. And Ragnaros is still missing. Ragnaros went out there. Of course it, of course it's these two. <laughs> oh, these can be good parts of my arsenal. My blasters are on low. I don't know how effective they be in my world now. They look pretty primitive. Oh. Well, they're slug throwers. Uh, slug throwers oh, on. The omen is probably lost. No, he's up on a tower. No, he's oh. there. <laughs> he's just sat up on a tower. Oh, he's he's he might be AFK. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we're all here now. Jesus Christ. Everyone's here now. And if you're not here, okay. you're here. Oh, Let's hello. continue. Uh, We're moving on. Uh, uh, well, hmm. you did your job. The tinkerer like happily so. takes the items right off your hands and removes the bomb collar from both you and the spy. Oh, 
Well then, I guess that's that. Yeah. Let's head on out. We no longer have bomb collars, so we are no longer sus. We are no longer a suspect. Okay. We're no longer sus. Sure. Shut the. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> stop angering the wren. <laughs> Actually, keep doing that. It's funny. It's fucking funny. The has cut up and has stopped sitting on his tower. My man, the painter has too many personalities. He's probably you insane. Do you ever feel well, yeah, yeah, like you guys than you guys than I am about guards? He probably no, is. What in the start again? What? Goodness. Well, it's good. Artifice has been busy. Y'all get getting to some jewelry, uh, tweak. The artifice? Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Is, what do you mean tweak? Is jewelry. that how the youth say it these days? I saluted the soldiers. There was no shot one back. in the I'm upset. Turning 22 in a couple weeks, in like a week. So I don't think it's quite as So I'm youth. older than you. Happy Capsule early right birthday, Sal. So. You exit, no you? 25. Or at least turning 25. Oh yeah, actually. In this group, I'm the oldest. How are you 25? I was born in 1996. Yeah, I'm the oldest, so still. I'm the oldest in this group right now, but Sheen is older than me. Wow. I did not think you were that old. I'm the oldest. I was birthday. I'm turning 22 in a week. But damn. I have no idea. You were younger than me, Cell. Cell, you're younger than me? What the hell? I'm only 21. He's a little baby man. Little baby. Little baby man. I went through all of college. Well, so I'm older so, than Cell, so. Silly boy fits is a nickname now. Silly boy. I know what the L in your name stands for. It's the elderly man, no? Guys, your full name. Got a Rindizo. Elder, at least. And I'm the eldest here. We all in this group. Oh my good, you made it. With the bomb color removed, the painter, the spy, and maybe a few people that joined in the escape. You guys. They all left A Block and Nortune itself. Once outside, I could have made it out. The spy presents a transport vessel with the dark mech aboard. The spy does not join, but he wishes him well. Just before the transport door closes. The spy looks the painter in the eye, and he tells him, I hope you find her. With that, let's head to our next location. Across Sus. the water. Hooray, we're walking into the ocean. Just I'm flying above it. I have my jet pen to either of us all day. Nah. Nah, British sitcom just like walking into the ocean. You're, lying. you're cringe, no. because you're not in the water. You're not touching the ground either, are you, Randizo? You say a flying cube! I'm a cleric! I can do what I want! I may be cringe, but I am free. <laughs> sure. Yeah! Free to be as cringe as you want, Randizo. Everyone click Either on the invisible sphere in front of the sun. I am a... This is going to be a Neeson. big thing when I go Another back to the overworld map because Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson's knee, son. Liam uh, Neeson's knee, son. Uh, son on top of a knee. Wouldn't this technically be the underworld Click on this map? first. Again. I know I knew what this was going on.
I can't see a circle of people and not join in. Imagine, imagine getting in I have several questions. I have several questions. So Owlman is the one from Vancouver. They're coming up with a commander and saying that, soldier. This is the one from Vancouver. Yes. Apparently, uh, this prison didn't have helicopters to huh? me. Commonly, so my helicopter just guys was still body of the Welcome back. Hmm. Anyway. Rot is our Rot is my group's leader, and he is from Eastern Canada. You have to show all these medals. Yeah, I got these medals for eating the We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. We don't have to. Oh, guys, guys, delicious. Sheen. Dearest travelers. Oh, so you're approaching me? It seems your AT field has neutralized my Kumbaya field, and thus we're at an impasse. <laughs> the impasse is that the story will continue. The painter makes his way to the holy city. He parks the dark mech outside. He enters the city. And as he walks through the sunlit <laughs> cobblestone street, the halls surround him. He brushes his fingers, his hands across the walls and the green vines and the flowers that sprout from them brush across his skin. Everything is warm. Everything is comforting. Until he sees the people here. He looks and immediately the uncertainty hits him. He wants to know more. This place is pulling him in down the stair steps. He walks past the arch. The warmth is so comforting, but the answers are cold. And they must be cured. The painter speaks to the people on the street as they walk past. He asks them, where is he? What is this place? They explain that this is the holy city. The holy city of Nissan. Here, this place, is led by a teaching, a creed, perhaps. No, a set of ideas and ideals. The answer is different. Depending on who he speaks to, it's strange, but everyone agrees that they follow it strictly. The painter learns that this city is led by a church, and that church is founded and led by a person, and that person's name, Travelers. Are you listening carefully, travelers? That person's name is Mother Sophia. To continue the story, travelers, you must complete a quest. Yes, your final quest. Travelers, this holy city is beautiful. The paths are numerous. The scenic routes are everywhere. You have a quest, and all of you must work together as new friends to complete this quest. I ask 
that all of you walk the streets of this holy city together. Find a place that all of you mutually agree is the most beautiful scenic spot in all of the holy city. Once you all have found a spot that you agree is the best, please clump together, stand together, crowd together, elect a photographer, and take a group photo. I repeat, your quest is to find the most beautiful spot in this holy city of Nissan and take a group photo together. You must stay together, friends. That is your quest. Once you are satisfied with your photo, come find me, your tour guide. I will be waiting for you. Down on the lower street, near the exit, the rules are that you cannot leave the city. You must stay here. Travelers, I trust you. And the quest begins now. Good luck. Yeah. What if? Is it just me or is everyone else kind of My view is so high. My view Where's your stupid? I'm the highest ranking in the fucking Galactic Republic. You say he's better ranking than me. Oh, bad. What's your rank? Kill his ass. Marshall, the highest rank in the fucking republic. Marshall? Marshall? Grand Sucks. Marshall Commander! Grand Marshall Same rank as Commander Cody, which is the highest rank you can achieve in the Galactic Republic. So you're older than me? Then why do your command suck? Bitch! You talking about my sporting command, you bastard! Oh, oh that's a great idea. You <laughs> think? thinks the bridge is the best part. Which I don't blame him. Why don't we just take a picture by sheet? In order, line up over here. Oh my lord! Just say, my arm is not moving. What if we take a picture by sheet? Don't do it by rank order. Just like make it look nice, I guess. Looks like a lot of people are kind of agreeing with the squad, so... No, I like the bridge. Well. We can get Steve in the background. He's in the background. I'm having... We can also... <laughs> no, she is true. Is it a gesture thing? Would you all like to take the... I can actually disable it in the just like well, menu, but it sounds like I can like like set up your camera as well. I'm trying to do things to make sure my You're hand can use yeah. my controller. Yeah. Because I am moving okay. my controller yeah. around and my hand is stuck in position. Would you all like to do this by the bridge? Well, uh, first and foremost, just move your hand so that it's within uh, sensors. Would you both like to do this by the bridge? Uh, yeah, sure. I can do the I can do it by the Travelers, I wish I saw you summon the tour guides to join the photo with you. You've unlocked yes. a secret. Yes! Yes! Yeah. 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 What's the secret? Absolutely. Uh... Alright, travelers. Shit. You're the boss. Tell the tour guides where to stand. Ooh. Shane, you should stand Menacing. right here. <laughs> Right here. I am sure. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yep, especially Jeez. when I'm physically Where should so Rendizo stand? I think Rendizo and Trajum should be on either side of you. One here and one here. Gangsters, I got the camera set up. That way they're in the front. I have an idea. If you allow me to be a photographer, I have an idea for a photo. If you guys would allow me. Nice. Uh, so you're dead. Oh no! Should I should I scoot in? No, no, I'm sleeping. You're amazing. You're up. Oh. <laughs> you're fine. Alright everyone. Oh, Look at the camera. camera. One of you can come up with a fancy catchphrase to say. <laughs> Kumbaya. 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 Yeah, Kumbaya. 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 <laughs> Put on a very second timer, go ahead and send down Kumbaya. some fucking Kumbayas. I can make this film so much more good. Can you get everyone? Ah, oh, just stay. Stick with me. I don't know how to work the camera.
<laughs> we gotta get a photographer. Are you ready? Someone. Countdown. We need a countdown. We need a countdown. 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 Alright, five, four. Where's the camera? Three, two. We need a photographer. Now. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Let's go. So, does Kumbaya translate to I cooked you breakfast this morning? No. As thanks for last night. You're talking to a very high ranking well, soldier right feel, there. Oh, oh, I'm going to my head. Shepard. I feel super nice. Oh, so so we don't go together okay. very well. Well then, Shepherd, Shepherd, I will Shepherd, make it. Right. I'm the highest yeah. rank in the Galactic yeah. Republic Grand Marshal Commander. Well, you're not a soldier, you're a commissioned mm -hmm. officer. Where'd you go? That's cool. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's That's a familiar sound. You know, we should have gone to somebody with the, the sound clip. Shepherd, Just Shepherd, Shepherd, Shepherd. play the snore sound. Kumbaya. Wait, wait, hold on. I don't want to hide that first of face. I love you too, dummies. Why did it oh, end? Sure, it's it's got to be a line somewhere. What? Someone oh, yeah, has to be a line. Yeah, yeah. The story no, continues. That's 10,000 shots. Ow. Did you know uh, that your conversations, the snorts, the laughs of your <laughs> merrymaking are absolutely wonderful? <laughs> and did you know the things that happened behind <laughs> While you were singing Kumbaya and the things that have happened in between conversation caused the tour guides behind the scenes to lose their... The story continues. Yes, do go on. Sanity. Silence. Immersion must remain. The painter speaks more to the locals of the holy city, and he learns of the leader of the church, this Mother Sophia. He learns that her influence had ideals, things that people thought of. Yes. Mother Sophia, through the teachings, the strict teachings of the church had ideas that manage, managed to get through. She often told the people that instead of praying to God, to pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings, everyone always wondered what she meant by that. 
However, when the painter hears this from the locals, something connects. A picture begins to emerge. The colors begin to blend together in contrast to a larger image which takes focus. The canvas of his mind begins to finally make sense and he sees a portrait. The painter finally begins to understand he can't see his past and his future contradicts itself. But the colors of this memory begin to make sense. He sees her and finally the song has an, a face to match. My friends, the painter realizes he must find the leader of this church. He must find this Sophia, this Mother Sophia. The painter races toward the cathedral. And my friends, the grand finale awaits us. This way. Yee. Everything this is just totally going to end well. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yee. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Look at this. Jesus. Run at the... The priest used the philosopher's stone to look like he's a guy. I didn't oh, give a fuck. I can't okay. describe the entire plot of the show. Oh, really? Oh. Can there be such a thing as total mutual <laughs> understanding and how would you define it? This is gonna be a picture. My friends, <laughs> gather around and listen closely. If you look intensely, you can see each angel only has one wing. I ask all of you, what do you think that symbolizes? Travelers, tell me your answer. Cooperation they need each other? with each other is yes. needed. Pretty much. Perfect and mutual. I need a beat yeah, for, for joy, just like brothers and arms. <sighs> Complete mutual understanding, um, perhaps? Complete <laughs> mutual <laughs> understanding. <laughs> <laughs> one body? <laughs> I'd recommend uh, 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 I know, that's what I'm saying. I heard that yeah. too. You are thinking way too hard. Who's in the back? <laughs> I was thinking uh, Oh, the panda came. Damn. What? Who? He said me? I see. Yes, <laughs> some of you have said this represents a type of mutual understanding, perhaps within limits. Yes, this represents humanity's need to work together. You are correct. That aligns with the church. That aligns with what they would teach the people and what Mother Sophia would say. Humanity works together, helps one another to live or to fly as to say. Realizing one is not whole. And you must give up a part of yourself to be held by another. In order to be whole, in order to fly, yes, this is the gospel of the Nissan church. 
This is not wrong. But it's not just me. my friends. There is a deeper meaning to this. Dazzling on a keyboard. A meaning only known to Mother Sophia. And the sculptor himself. To completely understand another view, to perceive their observance through your eyes, to withstand their hate, to value their love, to weigh their sorrow, to be clean enough, to understand their happiness, to be compassionate enough, to support their determination. Is this not the definition of true love? Is this not what it means to be as one? Is this not complete mutual understanding? My friends, my, my very good friends, I have one final surprise for you. One last surprise. Travelers, please. This way. Damn, shit getting emotional. It's always like that. Yeah, it's like How excited to start emotional. seeing the human instrumentality project. Speed run up the stairs. Ooh. Gotta get the speed run. I'd rather be in a pear wiggler than go upstairs. I know, right? Human instrumentality project. <laughs> How many We're gonna have to climb the stairs, I'm sorry, there's no other way. How many references Travelers have I ever been able to make to anybody? Travelers, listen carefully. It is my honor. My final witness. To introduce to you. Mother, Sophia, this way. There's gay. More stairs. <laughs> we are more training. Oh, 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 yeah, stairs are pretty out. neat. But this field. <laughs> Like Evangelion at this point. Like, wow. I don't know. It's Ooh. Oh, Sophia. <laughs> oh, I had to caution. Terrain. Pull to oh, see you. Minimum. <laughs> Terrain. Pull up. Oh. Cut. Ray, I an army. Oh, why do I keep making these bad jokes? Mother Sophia. Gabriel. I'm gonna hit game ultra kill. Basque. Everyone. I like how She's so pretty. Yeah. I like how it's well, not finished my... either. How is it not finished? Look, Look at the bottom oh, corner. Like that's not the same that's not the same yeah. thing as is the top. It is not finished. You ask. It, it is. That is a good question, traveler, as the story continues. What? Oh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> If you make a finished painting of an unfinished painting, is that finished or not? <laughs> Paintings are never finished. Here, in this warm, sunlit room, 
Sophia sat quietly no. in that chair as the painter captured her likeness. Oh. This infused portrait radiated through the light. My friends, if you look closely, you can see the portrait is not finished. This <laughs> place <laughs> is a time capsule existing through time via mimetic <laughs> preserved channels. It exists externally, outside of a narrative observance, outside of any social rule, allowing a commoner from the outskirts of the city, an artist, to be alone with a leader of a nation's church. This place belonged to them, and only the gods watched as their wills perfectly synced and they fell in love the painter never wanted this purgatory to end he believed he would never get into heaven with her or have a future with her he wanted to stay here. He wanted to be with Mother Sophia. He didn't want time to pass. And Sophia agreed. Brilliant with empathy, she knew this. She saw right through the painter, and she loved everything about him. She let him lie as he needed to, to preserve this place. You see, travelers, the painter did lie. He told Mother Sophia that he lacked the pigments necessary to complete this portrait, and he left. He went home numerous times. She waited as he trusted she would. And she knew that he trusted she would wait. And that's why she agreed to it. This went on for some time. But time is a victim to events that disagree with its preservance and therefore their time together could no longer be contained in this room you see travelers Sophia sacrificed herself to save this city in the war. The portrait was not finished, and the painter did not understand. He did not understand why the people deserved her sacrifice. He did not understand why he lacked the power to save her. But this is a, a story that we've told before. And the painter that walks with us here, he's heard this before. No, this is not his thoughts. This is not Eric, our painter's yourself. thoughts. Something is creating these emotions in his head. That memory is blocking everything else. The painter finds the strength to push this block aside and see his true history. For a brief moment, he sees her, Sophia. She is alive. He knows who she is and where she is. But the weight comes back 
harder, shrouding his memory once again. He can feel a cold anger with it. He looks directly at the block, and he sees in its center a dark, mimetic entity in his head. And for the first time, they make eye contact. For the first time, they see each other. A masked, masked man. Standing in front of a blood moon. Over a cold, dark desert. Who are you? The painter screams. The dark entity does not speak but it raises its hand and motions for the painter to approach. The figure in his head vanishes. The painter opens his eyes. The chair is gone. The paints are gone. The portrait is hung on the wall. And Mother Sophia is gone. The painter knows that Mother Sophia from her time is dead. But the painter knows that she is still alive here in his time. It doesn't have to make sense. And he knows where he needs to go. My friends, this boy. Wait. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Stop. Uh, what are you saying? This is totally not going to be a bad pass. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, what the Maybe heck? Good. This is different than the original. <laughs> this is original, like, differently, yeah. yeah. He's going to commit die. What? I'm surprised I'm in the morning. Who's that? There. At what point we tend to hang? I don't get it. Is it different? Well, yes, it is. I'm lost. <laughs> Head to the desert outside of Dazil. Um. Back onto the world map. Where? Um. Which one? Uh, right here. Here.
Çar. My friends, the story continues. The painter pilots the dark mech. He flies through the dark sky. The desert is unnaturally cold. He sprints over the dunes, surveying his surroundings. The pressure is getting stronger. He knows he is close. Overhead, he sees a floating city. No, it is much too large to be a city. It is huge. Could it be called a country? It must be the size of a continent. It's a battle station. The painter's nerves yeah, turn to ice space nine. when he notices mm -hmm. that this flying object is heading in the direction of the mimetic pressure. He continues in that direction. My friends, this way. Ah, fuck you. It's so sick. Shut up! Huh? Charge Wolf to battle. Uh. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Oh my! Whoa! Whoa. A fucking Holy! Oh. Holy shit! Yo. Oh great! The red moon rises again! Blood what moon you say, bitch? Again. What's your and it's our mech. Uh, Blood uh, monster. One blast. I don't know what number that is. That is. Gets so. kicked. Fuck you. Give me 20 bucks. Useless. Right in space. Travelers, boy. this story is at an end. Listen carefully. Everything is at stake. Battle. The painter continues in the direction of the mimetic pressure until he sees him. He knows who he is, but he can't explain why. High atop the rock pillar is a horrible machine. Glowing with dark ether and glaring at the painter is the menacing bronze mech. Slow it speaks. You are incomplete. You are not the rightful owner of that power. Give it back or die. The painter notes his voice is like needles. He gathers his thoughts enough to respond. Where is she? Who are you? You don't even know who I am. Why are you here? Where is who? It doesn't matter if I know you. Because you belong to me. You know nothing. I will save her from whatever you are planning. I know the song. The dark entity pauses, then responds with anger.
If you wish to save her, prove it. Show me you can use that power and not end yourself by it. The bronze mech raises its hand. My fist is the divine breath. Blossom, O oh fallen seed, and draw upon thy hidden powers. Grant unto thee the power of the glorious mother of destruction. The ground shakes. A huge sandworm surfaces and approaches the dark mech. The painter readies for a fight. While the bronze mech looks on, the sandworm barrels toward the painter. And my friends, your final battle begins. Travelers, the sandworm approaches and prepares to attack the dark mech. What will the painter do? You have 30 seconds. Mother's uh, instinct. German seaplex. German seaplex. Mother's Don't instinct. Freeze, Try to <laughs> grab and <laughs> I'm, I'm only going to say the right answer once in each round. I think. Put it in half. the good ending. Hey, I hope they well. actually do it. I like Metal's idea. Throw it in half. Second, first round, know. dodge and hit the tail. Second round is dodge and hit the belly. Third round is dodge and hit the head. Fourth round is press the button. Anyway. I fought. Well, I mean, we're kind of shuffled down a path anyway, so... Yes, I, it, it, it has no relevance. Yeah, we should dodge and try to block his <laughs> tail. Every time. It's movement. We laid it, we led it to a freaking edge. We need to destruct. 30 seconds is almost up. One, two, one, two, three, four. Time has expired. The Wumi, tell me, what will the painter do? Dodge the sandworm's attack and try to attack its tail. Yeah. Uh. I see. Understood. <laughs> the sandworm barrels through the sand and jumps high over a dune the painter retaliates dodges and prepares to attack the tail but he doesn't expect the sandworm to coil yes the sandworm coils and its sharp teeth grip the dark mech's left leg it bites down hard, shattering the armor, and the dark mech takes heavy damage. <laughs> Things might have changed. <laughs> no, we're just being put toward the bad ending. We're being in yeah. Cephalon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being the Cephalon. Cephalon. Uh, making sure we're being that. Being um, yeah. Writes itself, and he watches as the sandworm pulls up ahead. The scales of the sandworm's tail close, hardening into a impenetrable shield. The sandworm readies itself and scurries forward for an attack. The dark mech has 30 seconds to act. What will the painter do? Fly. And then come power down on it. Grab it by the head. Yeah, one other. You can like grab the beaks of an ostrich and like fuck it up. So I don't know. That's the... <laughs> it only can fly. Oh, it's only yeah. good to try again. Dodge again. Yeah. 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 Dodge and hit. Whatever. Just kick the shit fucking out of drop you, from orbit. <laughs> no, they're yeah, they're fucking dumb. Bad. The moment you grab the beak and control the head, they just don't know what to fucking do. <laughs> mm. 
I think you need to go for the chest, then the head. Oh, I was muted. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's that's smart. You know, and usually the open mouth is a weak point, right? Mm -hmm. Rocket power straight through. Open mouth is normally a weak point. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> What is that sound? I don't know. Everything is going on right now. I think it's a very bad thing for for summer's experience, but one. It is what it is. Time has expired. Light for wings. What will the painter do? I would say go where, go at the mouth, where it's more likely the, like the weak point. Because that's where it's normally causing the attack. There's a pin, one of like the pinchers. The sandworm barrels toward the dark mech. In a flash. It's and, but the dark mech is ready. It erupts right in front of its face, but the dark mech grabs the pinchers to the left and to the right. Together, they fly Not through so the tough. sand and land on a dune. The sandworm screams, and the sound shakes the desert floor. The painter throws the sandworm to the right and quickly he brings his right leg down hard slamming into the sandworm's face fracturing its jaw the sandworm screams and the desert stars hear it the dark mech gets up and prepares to continue the fight and the sandworm rights itself and prepares to attack a third time the sandworm advances and the painter has a choice on what to do and travelers that choice is yours and you have 30 seconds starting now I'm still thinking of yeah, fire on the down down down. word. I don't know. I honestly... I'm sorry, there's no other way. Fly on it in the guy. Wait, if fists. it... Go for if it, like, RKO. attacks in a straight line, line could we align ourselves and make him knock over the rock? Like, run into the rock and stun him that way? Play on Cephalon, says Ooh, no. Ooh, send him into yeah, the like stone! Oh, yeah, that is viable. Yeah. Just try to die. Because I mean, it feels the ground anyway. So if we run, it'll feel us. He can't use his mouth anymore. You know? Oh, so that is an amazing track, idea. So they would probably <laughs> dig into the sand, though, and then just come right around for another attack. But, like, when it shoots but out of the ground, we'll dodge out of the way and it'll hit the rock. Maybe it'll stun it. Ah, oh, travelers. Oh, I forgot to mention. The scales on the head have now closed and hardened. So, so maybe the brain of the rock. Fucking grab the body. The body is the only thing yeah, that has not hardened. Yeah. 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 Grab the body and just try to slam it into the lock. Grab it by the head and slam its body into the lock. Rip it apart. Yes. Like Hulk style, like like King Kong like style. style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I suggest that earlier at the beginning of this whole fight. Just fucking oh, okay. just like the thing. <laughs> Go for the chest. One, two, Five, four, three, three, two, one. Travelers, your time has expired. Let's see. Ah. Shadow. Hello there. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Shadow, tell me, Orange what will the painter do? The painter will snatch the worm 
fly into the air <laughs> and slam it down into the ground. I'm gonna do a barrel roll. That works. Wow. Do suplex. Shadow, are you sure <laughs> this is your answer? Mm. I'd say go for the middle though. Slam it down in the middle. Yeah, it's just yes. for something. And then jump on it. Yes, Shadow says. And the story continues. The sandworm barrels toward the dark mech, and the sand flies to its left and to its right. The dark mech's hands get ready, and the sharp teeth reach it. The sandworm springs from the floor and wraps itself around the dark mech. But it's too late. The painter anticipated it, this, and he ignites the thrusters. He <laughs> flies into the air, grabbing the sandworm by the neck. His right thrusster ignites 150% higher than the left, causing him to spiral out of control. He swings the worm around and around yeah, in a I circle can't, can't then as they enter the sky in front of the blood moon the painter <laughs> realizes he has his foe exactly where he wants him and he ignites both thrusters at full force towards the earth the dark back flies at mock speed toward the ground with the sandworm screaming for mercy they spiral and hit the sand with an explosion that sends the dunes flying the belly of the sandworm is burst open and a sand buggy flies out that had surely been consumed in a previous battle. Huh. Curious. The worm screams and writes itself. <laughs> Not yet dead. A final attack. The painter stands up and controls the dark mech to take a defensive stance. An alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning. Ether amplifier fully charged. Warning. Uh. Ether amplifier fully charged. Kamehameha, son of a gun. Kumbaya. That <laughs> Grand Cathedral Way, Ray, is the huge it's, 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 I keep saying that as a sandworm attacks. And the painter has a choice. What does he do? You have 15 seconds to decide. Push that button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All or nothing. Shoot the whoop. Shoot the whoop. Just shoot the whoop and hit the button. Destroy that motherfucker. Yeah, it's a Kamehameha. But we're, we're kind of. We're kind of. Uh, yeah. It's the bad ending. Mm hmm. But yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. God damn it. Well, actually, we are in the position of getting a pack. I mean, you'll see in a moment. The encephalon doesn't need to help us at all. <laughs> yeah. It, it was the getting caught, or from what I read, getting caught or something. Nope. In Discord. Uh, we have it not done this fight well. <laughs> oh. And also, I we're mean, supposed to answer just... the riddle correctly, but anyway. You okay? Yeah, that too. And I'm back fully. Into the wall? Oh no. Five, four, three, uh, something two, flew out three, of the one. belly of the worm. Time has expired. Um, still alive, Chill pill. But our thing charged. What will the painter do? <laughs> oh shit. Um gather all his bitch energy and shoot him. Hyperbeam. Yep, that's what we're doing. <laughs> the painter <laughs> will gather his ether and shoot a beam. Shoot a beam where? 
its Shoot it at the frog's stomach. Neck. Feed it plant. At the worm's stomach, you say. Understood. Yeah. The painter controls the dark mech, and he sees the alarm button flashing for the ether amplifier. The painter presses it, and the dark mech's hands clasp together as bolts of ether crackle around the knuckles. The hands are brought forward, and open palm as an enormous world-ending beam erupts. The pure ether collides with the sandworm's body, d destroying it, ripping it in half, obliterating it. And the beam continues. But right above, the bronze mech approaches mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the bronze mech attacks knocks the painter disrupting the beam the painter looks on as the bronze mech stands over it no words are given the hand raises and the bronze mech punches into the chest plate. The dark mech is split nearly in two, and the oh. painter is killed. Mm -hmm. oh. What? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. Well, yep, bad ending. Welcome to, to the, the bad ending, ending of the painter. Of the painter. Yep. Woo! Oh, I just died. Yeah. 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 I have to basically yeah. die because I had to search across the entire map to just get back here. <laughs> so much. <laughs> I can't believe we died after all this four hour journey and we died. <laughs> Almost four yeah, hours. It happens. Sometimes this is probably the longest, the, longest the recording I had. <laughs> 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 uh, I joined Cube and thought I could just hang out, but it was too long. Oh, hey, Panda. I was shouting in the Discord <laughs> call when you were making the song. Apologies. Thank you very much for waiting to the end of this tour. And as you newcomers may not know, this is a rerun of one of our old tours. In fact, this is our first tour that we ever created. The ending was predetermined, as it is a rerun. No matter the choices you made, we would have arrived at the bad ending today. But don't worry. If you wish to see the good ending, that's the next showing of the painter. Travelers, thank you for sticking it this far. I hope that you've had fun. I hope that mm -hmm. this is a night you will remember with your friends. And we do ask one thing in return. Yes, travelers. Don't there are just a few corn. things that we ask in return. Number one. Everyone, please, put your hands together for tonight's NPCs, Metal Gym and Ether Memento. Yeah. Yeah. Very well done, my Very well done. Yes, they only show up on our music path. <laughs> <laughs> and travelers, put your hands together for the greatest voice actor in all of VR chat, Trajan. Uh -huh. You did a great job, Trajan. Hey. 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 Hey.
Clap, clap, clap. clap louder, but I don't yes. <laughs> and friends, don't you dare not put your hands together for the one, the only, the world creator extraordinaire, Rendizo. Yes. is the creator of the Rendezvous, our headquarters. Now then, friends, we do ask that you join our Discord. The Discord ID <laughs> is my status in VR chat. In the Discord, you will be able to post your thoughts or feedback from today's tour and your photos as well. The group photo from today will be in our Discord. Check my status and join us there. Finally, friends, Jenner, if you wish to support us you wanna send me that and link? our other tours, we do have a Patreon. The link to the Patreon is in our info channel of the Discord. If you join our Patreon, you will be eligible to play the NPCs in our tours, like the prison guards from today. And you will be able to see behind the scenes work of our other tours. And you will also have access to a hidden Discord channel. My friends, our Patreon is only $3 per month. I hate promoting things like this, but I must, because commissioning world builders for other tours does cost money. So, if you choose to support us, I deeply thank you. It will help us pay for these commissions. Finally, travelers, in a few minutes from now, I will open a portal back to the rendezvous for the after party. There, I will stand at the bar and I will serve drinks. I'll wait about five minutes before I open that portal. Ah, my friends, I'm exhausted, so. Oh yes, oh yes, a group photo. We wait. We already did one in, in Nissan. Yeah, That's right. I'm sorry, Travis. No one claps for you, though. Finally, I wanted to floor for so long. Hey, Panda. Yeah. I'm the person.